Here's a question. How do you tell the truth from reality? If you look up either of those words in a dictionary, you're not going to find anything that is particularly helpful. The truth is abstract because it's a property in your mind. This would be the product of how much reality you've been exposed to. This makes sense because the truth can expand like when you learn something new, it's often with the sensation of amusement. And that right there is the core of a joke. I think the best way to describe reality is that it is a series of events. But life has meaning and so does choices made in relation to those events. Taking into account then that reality happens, the brain needs to make guesses in order to keep up with it. But predictions are estimations. This means that every one of these anticipated paths could return false. And uh, this is where amusement comes in. In a nutshell, an ID that's familiar winds up being unfamiliar. And what you end up with is a new logical order. Learning. Depending on how well the sender understands reality then, and how well you understand reality, there's funny, there's funnier, funnier without laughter, not funny with laughter, and there's hilarious but can't laugh. Jokes can even be about jokes. We can't cover all that in one video, but who is the joke on, what is it implying, and when is it being delivered is a place to start. Humans are divided into three zones of perception, and just like you go by with any type of information, these apply on both ends on both parts. Any failure to do so is usually labeled bad taste, but we can't really make that statement because people are different and does their taste be different. Nonetheless, the quality, if you will, of a joke is measurable. Laughter is often thought of as a reflex because it happens naturally and actually nearly impossible to fake, but it isn't fully comparable because what causes the laughter still travels to the brain. A reflex for comparison is a defense mechanism. In case of emergency, there's no time for your brain to tell your muscles what to do. So the body cuts out some of the middle steps to make an action. As in a reaction. If something isn't true, it isn't necessarily false either. And even if you're not being truthful, people can call your bluff because words spoken are but even 10% of what you really say. Humans have weaknesses, and by highlighting those, there's going to be a reaction. We call this emotional response. For example, if you live under the impression that other people are stupid and you are king of the world, an effective way to test that theory is by asking whether you judge yourself by the same standard. A thought and a memory, however similar in the mind, are actually completely different things. A memory is a record of an event that actually happened, ignoring false positives for now, while a thought is only a thought. Exactly why laughter is the response, no one really knows. But we do know that humans can laugh before they can speak. One theory goes that leftover energy in the brain for making predictions needs somewhere to go. Think about the sensation you get in the moment you get the joke, but before you laugh. One of the best ways to study humor is actually by its absence, because very few things in life are more painful than a misplaced joke. Though a basic model like this one is only one of several requirements for a joke to work. But just like nobody likes to explain a joke, one shouldn't think too much about this either, because a situation calls for itself, and in fact that's what jokes are. Temporary versions of reality. If you understand and accept that the ID is true, a false ID can help you overcome the past because it's false. Though, just to be clear, jokes are by no means limited to be false information. This would be no contradiction, it's proof that the reason something is funny just isn't a straightforward answer. Studying different outcomes, though, can be a necessity for a particular something to work. Violations, for example, because depending on how well sender knows reality, they can get exactly the effect they want. 
If embarrassment returns true, joke's on you because you reveal what's in your head, and that's unpleasant and uncomfortable. If the joke provokes anger, which is the ultimate type by the way, people unable to control emotions look for opportunities to hit back. Moving on, we know that laughter produces dopamine, and dopamine is a chemical that gives the sensation of joy. This also makes sense, because it explains why amusement is universally understood. Or have you ever met somebody who avoids laughing at any cost? A professor once told me that the rule of thumb is, actions can be judged, thoughts and feelings come and go. The wise man does not identify with nor attack these temporary things, nor do they deny them. We aren't our thoughts, we are that which watches. If reality is a series of events, information runs through just like numbers in an equation. The path to get there though, perhaps subject to a few obstacles. It's important to note, breaking the rules aren't strictly speaking illegal. Illegal is when you break the law. But even then, sharing a thought is not equal to performing the action. An obstacle in the real world is often internal conflict in the mind, and sharing a thought is only limited to denial. Any situation is limited to the amount of information each party possess, but actions, including thoughts, are predictable. So if, hey man do you like her, returns, yes, we gain one piece of information, but, and in this case, also one more question. Let's back up a bit. People lie. 50 times a day in fact, on average. And if words spoken minus the reminder returns false, as in true, there might be another conflict lurking and the motivation to make sure not to run into more conflict. So going full circle, reality is a series of events. The truth is abstract and thus the means of learning. Humans are flawed, but then again the wise men are only watching. Amusement is universally understood, explaining why we seek the unknown while agreeing on reality. Everyone's taste is different. A thought is only a thought. Thanks for watching.